Hello everyone, how are you today? So in the last video we already spoke about New Zealand uh, skilled migrant category as yeah. well as Canada Express Entry Federal Skilled Worker. Mm. Uh, so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna go deep into Express Entry Federal Skilled Worker. We're yeah. gonna just talk about like how one can apply and how they can expect their, um, you know, or how they will be eligible or mm. how can they can expect their permanent residency from Canada. Yeah. Okay, so first of all, um, expert entry is the application process yeah. for skilled migrants who want to settle down in Canada permanently right. yeah. and take part in the Canadian economy. Uh, FSW is like you have to be eligible first because it's a federal program mm. so you have to be eligible for this program um, to be able to apply under uh, express oh. entry okay so Canada immigration they evaluate you out of 100 points so you need to score at least 67 points to be eligible for federal skilled worker program Okay, so what factors will decide if you get at least 67 points or not? So there are quite a few factors which decide you decide. Um, they are your age, your mm. qualification, mm. your work experience, um, your language skill, your adaptability, mm. you know, and there, there are one, two other factors as well, yeah. which will decide your points. Um, so once you calculate your points and if you are 67 and above you can go ahead and create your profile under Express Entry FSW if you're not meeting 67 points you probably need to work on that and if you and at the end if you're still not be able to meet those points then you cannot go under this category you can only go under other categories okay so the first step is done yeah. Like let's say we we are eligible yeah. for express entry federal skill worker. Yeah. The next one will get all the documents ready. Right. For yeah. example, like your IELTS general result, yeah. what will be valid for three, two, two years. Two years. Yeah. yeah. And the next one is to get your qualifications to be assessed. Yeah. Like by to, by yeah. Canadian uh, body. Yes. For example, like WES, WES yes. in our case. Yeah. Yeah. So. This is because in case if your qualifications not from Canada, let's say from India, from Vietnam yeah. or New Zealand, yeah. um, WES in this case will be like they will evaluate your qualifications yeah. if they are like equivalent to Canadian qualifications. Right. And, and based yeah. on that, you will get points. Mm, yes. And you also get some other personal documents to be ready. Yeah. For example, like your police certificate, certificate yes. your work experience letters yeah. and other things yes uh, like in our case uh, so make sure you have quite a few months mm. to be handy yeah uh, like to gather all the documents since we were not in our home countries mm. I think it took us about two months mm. to gather all the documents and especially WS it takes about 45 days to 60 days yeah to get your result yeah yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, so we already get all the documents ready. What yes. is the next step? So the next is once you know if you're qualified under this program, you need to create your profile. Um, once you create your profile, you fill out you fill out all the details, and mm -hmm. based on those details, you get CRS points. Okay, so that. CRS points is different from that 67 points? Yes, so 67 points will only tell you your eligibility to apply mm. under this program. Yeah. But CRS points are the points under which you will actually get an invitation to apply for the program. Oh, so okay. these are the points which uh, comes under the draw, oh, basically. Okay. So CRS point is comprehensive ranking system points. Yeah. Um, so so like like uh, last draw was uh, 468 mm, points yeah probably by the time we send we, uh, we upload the video it, they, they might be different because uh -huh. because uh, Canada immigration they they draw like once or twice or probably twice a month mm, sometimes yeah um, so if you're say say let's an example if your points were six, 468 or above you mm. already got ITA okay, okay? Um, so you calculate your points mm. So once you get your ITA, you need to submit your documents. Uh, in Canada Immigration, they mm. give you enough time to do that. Mm. Um, so once you submit your documents, you also need to submit your medical examination, mm. which is valid for a year. Yeah. Um, Sometimes it get expired, but it's okay. okay. Uh, once you submit your medical, all you have to do 
Uh, oh, one more thing. You have to pay immigration fees. <laughs> <laughs> so once everything is done, mm. all you need to do is wait, sit back and prepare for Canada. Okay. Right? Mm. And then what next? Just wait? How yes, long? just uh, for how long? Um, so in your profile, it will show you six month, you know, timeline. Mm, yeah. But it might take less it might take more because of covid i think it's gonna take more for sure nowadays mm. but when we came here when we applied it takes about four months and five days for us yeah so after exactly. the submission okay. yes after the yeah. submission and which, which wasn't too bad actually which was mm. good and yes once you get once you get your PRR, which is a passport request, you need to submit your passport. Yeah. It takes about uh, two weeks to one month. Get the visa stamp on the passport, yeah. right? And also the CO, um, COPR. PR. Yeah. So you will get a COPR letter, which is confirmation of permanent residency. Mm. And yeah, it will have a date to mm. be land in Canada. Uh, in case if you cannot do that, cannot meet that date, you can always extend it. Yeah. Um, you need to contact immigration. Uh, for that so once you land in Canada you're good to go you are a PR and that's it <laughs> okay yeah and after that you will I think you will get the PR card within a month so yes uh, you will you need to so so once you land here um, immigration uh, at the border security they will take all your documents mm. and um, uh, you will get your PR card automatically the address you will provide to them mm. um, in case if they need to update any information they will contact you but yes you should be getting your PR card within one month to two months mm. yeah it takes okay. some time it takes more yeah. mm. okay so I think the whole process um, so okay okay not so complicated it's not so complicated until you gather all your documents <laughs> so <laughs> The, oh, the only thing which is complicated is I think personally if you're not able to meet your points is your language skill mm. so you probably need to work on that yeah. uh, which might take a couple of months you know to be like prepare and go for the exam again <laughs> so we will be sharing more details about our application yes. the timeline yeah. probably yeah. in the next video yeah that's yeah. right okay uh, I think in case if you know if you want to know anything mm. about this you can let us know we will happy to answer and yeah. uh, this is it for today and we're gonna see you soon again in the next video okay see Bye. ya Bye.